Uh, I like Still Austin. We're doing a barrel pick with them in September. So we're going to have a barrel of Still Austin for our patrons. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, I think we're just about to open that up for who's, no, actually that one's already booked. We, we're, I'm taking some work associates on that one. We do have a Ben Holiday pick and a 13th Comedies pick coming up in August um, where we're about to open that up for patrons to join us. I think we can have six up in um, Missouri for the Ben Holiday and we can have four um, in addition to Jill and I over at 13th Colonies. Any update on the picks? So Tim, let's talk about the picks. While I'm, I'm gonna let this sit for just a second. Um, the Crittenton's picks, he's got all the paperwork to the state of New York. It's gotta be 60 days before that pick is available. Um, Rolling Fork Rum, the rum finished in Weller barrels, that one is going to be bottled August 6th. So in a week it's gonna be bottled and I don't know how long it's gonna take to get to the retailer from there, but I'm hoping that one's available. If it's bottled August 6th, it should be available in August at some point. Um, I'm hoping also that one's at Starlight. I haven't heard from them yet. I emailed them, I haven't heard from them. I'm hoping that means the Starlight barrels, the three barrels, we bought a, a whiskey finished in VDN. We bought the, that Rolling Fork rum finished in Weller. We bought their bourbon and we finished, we got a bourbon finished in rum agrigal. I'm hoping all of those are ready in August. It concerns me a little bit to have four hit in one month, but such is life. Um, those will go to patrons based on tier level. So if you wanna be a part of those, make sure you're in the Bruzel patron. Somebody will drop the link here. It looks like our Streamlabs is dropping it here regularly. Um, so we need, uh, you know, we've got those. That's what, four? Um, I talked to, we just did the short barrel pick, which is out of this freaking world. They just like, sent, I've got a bottle, a sample of that one that I'm taking up to um, Pours in the Park. I've, I've got a little private thing um, with some folks on Thursday, so I'm not sure it'll make it to Pours in the Park, but if it does, I'll bring it. It's going to be delicious. Um, they're supposed to have me a date, I hope, next week or maybe later this week on when those will be bottled. But I think those will be August as well. But I may have them, I may have them wait till early September or September if all of those other ones are, are going to be ready. Like, I don't want six barrels in August. We've got, well, we've got three barrels from them, from Short Barrel and Old Fourth. We've got four from um, Starlight and Rolling Fork, so that's seven of them. We've got, was it three things coming from Crittenton's? That's 10 of them. So what am I missing? There's another one we've done I'm forgetting about. I don't have the list in front. Oh, I think Kyle just sent me the list last week. So let me, let me pull that up and see what else I'm missing here. Um, see what else I'm missing. Right there, there's the... Okay, oh, the Clyde Mays, that's what I was missing. Uh, the Clyde Mays ones, they said August, September. So the problem is, is I may have just a ton of barrels August, September. Like we may just have way, I, I may lose my house because we're gonna have like 10 barrels in, in August and September. And then October, we've got the Crittenton stuff coming. Uh, we just, we're, we've got a pick with Ben Holiday on the 16th of next month. The 22nd of next month, we've got 13th Colonies. Uh, we are having some conversations about maybe doing something with three chord um, via spillway, and we might be talking about a George Dickel pick with some of their leadership team. Don't know. That's been floated. I don't. I'm not the one doing those conversations. I don't know where those are, but that's kind of roughly where the barrel picks stand. Uh, Jeffrey, I don't know yet. It, it varies across the board, but say like the. The short barrel cash strength picks probably going to be about 80 bucks or so. Um, we're trying to find some cheaper stuff. So like some of the Crittenton stuff, like a Crittenton's bottled in bond, probably just 50 bucks. But like the actual store pick, because we're going to have some of the regular release stuff too of these, you know, because they don't have big distribution. You probably, most of y'all probably never had a Crittenton's. Um, so we'll have access to that. We'll probably have access to some regular short barrel that might be more, you know, more in that 50, 60 bucks range. Big J-Rock, I appreciate the support there. We'll see. We will see. I don't know. Um, it's through, like if we do it, it's through Spillway. They may want to be there. So I don't know if we'll have any or some 
uh, spots available. So if it's my pick, like if I do the pick, I try to always take patrons. So if you want to be on these picks and, and ask J-Rock, J-Rock was on our pick at Short Barrel. The, some are fun. Some are, they're all fun. Some are fantastic. If they take you into the Rick house and do cool things. And, and honestly, we, with the growing of the channel, we have enough clout to where most of these places roll out the red carpet. Like they just do. It's a great place to be. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not too big from a britches. I don't think I'm anything special, but I'm just saying with the views we get, a lot of people roll out the red carpet. Not all of them do. The bigger the distillery, the less likely they are to do that. And George Dickel is a big distillery. So I do not know. But when it's my pick, like I have been in communication with folks, because sometimes we get picked like Spillway, our friends at Spillway love those guys. They hook us up with some cool picks. We've done that video hasn't dropped because those picks are not available yet. But we, um, we did some picks with Starlight and things through them. Like, we went with them, and Starlight's like, what do you want to buy? I was like, I want to buy everything, and they let us do it. Um, I couldn't take people on that one because it's not my pick, right? I was just invited along, and I just so happened to be lucky enough to be able to tag along and, and then also piggyback on some picks. Um, if we're in contact like Short Barrel and 13th and stuff like that, we pick patrons. We put a poll out for folks that want to go. We allow people to submit and say, I, I'm available that day and I'm interested. And then we pick them um, based on, you know, patron tier, whether they've been on a pick before. You know, there's several criteria um, that we can post. And, and then you might be able to go and drink all the whiskey with us and help us make those picks. And it's, it's really, like, bourbon for me is much more about the experience than it is the whiskey. Like, I love... The people I meet, I love the places I go, I love the experience of bourbon more so than I like the bourbon. And so, and I like bourbon, don't get me wrong, but, you know, just being able to go do a barrel pick like that if you've never done one is an incredible experience. When's the short, I should have an answer this week, I hope, definitely by next week on when the short barrel is going to drop. I, I talked to them today. That short, the short barrel picks probably going to be 80 ish dollars. It might be 80, it might be 89.99. I'm still waiting on like confirmation of what it's going to cost me landed because I've got their price, but I've still got distributor cost and stuff like that. I've got to work through, but it's probably going to be around there. Who are the distilleries we're working with? Well, like I said, we've got Clyde May's store picks coming, we've got Old Fourth short barrel store picks coming. We've got uh, Starlight store picks coming, Crittenton's out of Mississippi, Ben Holiday, Old Fourth, Still Austin, uh, Rolling Fork Rum pick coming. Those are the ones we're working with at this point. I'm probably going to pause just a bit on getting new picks just to see how some of these sell. Uh, but honestly, if August and September go well, it looks like we're going to have a lot of picks available if those actually sell out. And we're waiting to release the videos of me going to do those picks so that everybody has act, everybody sees it. And if patrons don't take them, we, we got more, you know, more folks that might be interested in them to make sure they sell before we go overboard. But honestly, if all these picks we've done so far sell out fairly quickly so that I don't lose my house, we're going to go crazy on store picks. Like next year is going to be nuts.